Today, we're gonna take a look at The Tenants. It's a new game on the Steam Autumn Festival demo list that uh, looked interesting, I thought it looked cool. It's a game where you become a landlord and deal with problematic tenants as you build your rental property empire. So uh, that sounds cool, and I mean by the graphics and everything, it looks pretty awesome. So let's jump in. I did just a tad bit just to kind of get familiar a little bit with the controls, but we're gonna start over and uh, pick a new pick a new person. So let's see. My, the name is Mellow, so let's go with somebody that looks Mellow, maybe. Uh, yeah, you know what? I don't know. I don't know who that would be. Maybe let's just go with uh with this guy with the mustache, cause like the mustache just demands your attention. You know what I mean? That's that's alpha. Just kidding. But anyways, yeah. This game is uh, free to play right now. The demo. Uh, I don't know how long that'll last, but it's something that I've had on my wish list for a while. And I think it I think it looks pretty cool. I like the city building type games and, and everything and management. So, all right. What's up? Or whatever the kids say these days. Anyhow, check out your cell phone. I've left a job for you. Better pick it up quickly before somebody else does. All right. Cell phone right up here. Go to our jobs list. Uncle Steve. So he needs someone to turn his old trailer into a proper living space. So let's accept that job. All right, now, now onto the real thing. Let's go to my old camper. My friend Pedro used to live in it, and well, you know him. Let's stock up and clean this mess up. You and me, how about that? All right, let's go to this job, this tiny little camper. Begin cleaning. All right, let's do this. All right, so Uncle Steve's right down here. I just got to tell him what to do pretty much. I'm gonna have him pick up all this crap. So you can kind of look around. I like the uh, I like the kind of cartoony art style, honestly, and that's not something I usually like. But uh, in a game like this, I don't mind it too much. And the fact that you kind of you can kind of move around. I mean, when you're zoomed into a job, I guess it's less. There's less uh, that you can zoom out and stuff, but you can like really zoom out, see the whole town, and then like different properties will kind of pop up that you can purchase but you have to save up for that so it's kind of cool you do jobs like this in order to save up i enjoy it i enjoy it i'm looking forward to the full release which i don't it's it just says to be announced so i guess we'll have to wait and see but this is definitely one i think i'm gonna pick up because i think it's kind of got you know it's got a little bit of humor it, it implements like the elements i like of games like sims where you can kind of actually design Instead of just, you know, furnish or kind of passively build. And you'll get, you'll be able to see that here in just a minute whenever we finish cleaning up this crap. Did we restore everything? I think we got to do the chair, right? Let's repair the chair. So whenever there's a, a, a job list you actually have to do, let's see. So he's going to leave. I think we're going to go ahead and design this now. So that was the last of it. Cool. You can end this whole thing, uh, this whole cleaning bonanza by politely pointing me to the front door. Try it. I promise I won't take it personally. All right, Uncle Steve, get the hell out of here. All right, are you sure you want to exit the premises? Yes. Huzzah. All right, now it's your turn. Go on and start the renovation magic. Let's give this old ba uh, old bad boy some style. All right. So it's kind of cool. It gives you like all the uh, the information about the building or room you're about to do. So right now it's got a, an average happiness. Nearby facilities, everything is at a C. I mean, this is a tiny little, this is just to kind of show you the ropes a little bit, so. All right, so here's the information. During renovations, the game will pass, uh, game time will pass slower so that you can focus on the job at hand. As you can see in the top left corner, in jobs, your remaining budget will be colored in blue to differentiate it from your money. All right. So we use the money, uh, okay, the menu, all that stuff. We'll see that here in a second. So on the right, this is all the things that this job requires. So we have to actually include these things in the renovating. But outside of that, it pretty much is uh, free reign. You can kind of, and this is this is just for jobs. I think once you get your own properties, you can do it however the hell you want. And I mean, it's just gonna determine. You're gonna determine the happiness level and the pay, I guess, based on your design. But all right, build floors. So let's pick some uh, hardwood floors. How about this nice dark, is that hardwood? Yeah, that is, okay. Uh, we gotta do hardwood floors in the whole thing? I guess so. Except for right there, you know what? We're gonna go with like this tile under the shower. All right, paint walls gray. So 
So let's go to the uh, the walls now. Let's go with a nice light gray, I think. That'll be nice. It's just pre pretty much just sheetrock right now, just drywall. Unfinished. I don't know that dude lived in that, that way. Kind of interesting. All right, that's done. Now we just got to furnish this thing, which I think we're actually going to sell the stuff that's already in it and uh, give us a little bit more money to do so. So let's go to furniture. Let's sell this crap. All right, there we go. We'll leave the, uh, the shower. I think that's fine where it's at for now. All right, so we need to find... Okay, we need to get a fridge. So if we go in the menu right here, we'll just get the, get the cheaper one. We can rotate with Z and uh, C. And it kind of gives you, with the footprints, the space you have to actually use that thing. So where should we... Like, this is so small, dude. I don't even know where to put anything. Let's just put uh, the fridge right there. We got to get a microwave, a couch, a TV, toilet. Okay, so let's do a microwave. We're going to have to get, like, a table, though. So let's just go with, like, a, this small table. Maybe. What is this thing? I don't even know what this is. We're going to put this, like, I don't know, right here. It looks like a heater or something, maybe, or air conditioner. I have no idea. All right, microwave. $100, not bad. Not bad at all. All right, there we go. Now we need a couch. Let's get a nice couch in here. Let's go with this mid-century. Oh, dude, there's like <laughs> there's like no room in here. It's ridiculous. Um, okay. Let's go with a couch there. Let's actually move this just over a little bit. Very nice. Um, TV, toilet, and toilet paper. So we have like plenty of money. So the blue right here is the money we have for the job. We actually are doing pretty good at uh, the, the conserving of the money. Where's the TV? Is there no uh, wall-mounted TVs available? That's unfortunate. Well, dang. Now we got to figure out where to put a TV. We could get a small coffee table. That actually that might work. Let's, oh no, wait. Oh, there has to be space on both sides. That's annoying. Okay. Well, what the hell, man? What are we supposed to put the TV on? That's my, that's my question. Cause we got like weird, like large tables. There's no like side tables. Huh. How about like a, yeah, here we go. That would work for a TV stand, I think. Let's move this over here. I still don't know what this is. That'll be fine. Boom. Yeah, there we go. Now we can pop the TV right on top of that. Right? Oh, what? What is happening? What are you on over there? Oh, no. You just put it on the floor? Oh, I don't want to put it on the floor. That's lame. All right, we're going to have a floor TV, apparently. Dude, I don't like that. Aw, oh, man. Okay. Well, let's sell that. Whatever. Let's just finish this job. It's fine. It's fine. Let's put the TV, like, just right there for now. Whatever. And, uh, toilet and toilet paper. So, let's... <laughs> We're spending so much time on this tiny little introductory job. It's ridiculous. Alright. Toilet and... Toilet paper. There we go. Oh, and we got to get some DVD discs. So that's the preferred. I guess that'll kind of help the overall score, maybe. I don't know. So let's get some uh, some DVDs in here. There we go. <laughs> I don't like the TV situation, but that's fine. I thought there was a mountable TV, but I don't see it on here now. Oh, well, that's fine. Let's finish this job. Deliver. Look at that success. Now, when you finish your first job, uh, I'll let you on a secret. Your aunt and my dear wife has let you uh, 
oh, has left you this unit, a perfect opportunity to get your landlord career started. But the apartment will require some upfront work before we can rent it out. Well, let's go check it out. We can uh, connect the electricity, apparently. That's pretty much it, I think, because it's, uh... Oh, yeah, it's a little rough. It's a little rough, but that's okay. All right, simple renovation jobs unlocked. So we should be good to start working on other people's projects. Cool. Cool, man. Okay, so we can't really do anything else. Um... We can't even clean it up. That sucks. Maybe during the renovation, I guess. So we gotta get uh, heating connected, apparently. Okay, well, let's go do some jobs and make some money. So, quick renovation needed for a kitchen. Plus eating zone. 2100? Okay, yeah, let's do that one. So let's go to uh, that job right there. And where is it? Yeah, here we go. Begin renovation. All right, we need to get a kitchen and eating area. We need to do laminate. Uh, let's just do this first one, I guess. So laminate or tile, actually tile, let's do tile. Do we have to do the whole thing? Uh, apparently. Okay, now we can do yellow or gray walls. I like the gray. So let's just do the gray. Oh, that's, that looks a little weird, huh? Gray tiles. Ooh. Let's do gray tiles in the kitchen. The bathroom should be good. The bedroom should be good. So that's fine. Um, let's do the light gray in here. Spending a lot of money. Uh, where's that tile? There we go. All right, uh, fridge, oven. Let's go over here to the kitchen stuff. So let's get a fridge. Uh, an oven right here. I'm just gonna line them up right here to see how much space we have, putting them in here first. Uh, kitchen sink. And a small table and chair. Okay, let's move this down a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Very nice. All right. Uh, small table and a chair. So we have very little room to put this. Maybe just right there, I guess. And a chair. There we go. Hey, that's done. Preferred furniture, wall decoration. Let's find a wall decoration then. Uh, stay cool, I guess. Yeah, look at that. Let's do one more wall decoration just to be safe. Um, let's do this one. Yeah, very nice. Okay, let's finish this job. All right, I guess they come in and, ins and inspect it. Let's see what she thinks. Oh, she's not happy. Not happy, apparently. Come on, hurry up. Not too happy. Looks maybe neutral, maybe slightly irritated. Come on, give me the money. You know it looks good in here. Hey, you're happy about that. Nice. And not too happy about that. Well, you didn't say anything about bathroom, so... Whatever. Alright, success. New items unlocked. Look at that. Very, very nice. Alright. Let's pick up some more, another job. Let's see, player, what's this? Oh, two reviews, three stars. I got the renovated flat as I expected it, and I am a realist. No major, uh, what? No major inv in vacancies? In va vacant? I don't know what that means. My, I don't know. Uh, if I had to say what annoyed me, it would be the floors aren't all as I wanted, or that walls weren't all as I wanted. Well, that's what you specifically said is gray walls, dude. Maybe it was the tile. Maybe that's where I messed up. The black and white tile and then the gray tile walls. I think that's where I maybe made a mistake. Okay, well, that's fine. Let's go see if there's other jobs we can do. 2,000. Uh, what's this one? Maybe it's you who will design an awesome bedroom for me. Let's do that. 2,100. 
Uh, let's go do that right now. Let's begin. Okay, bedroom. Right here. So it's kind of cool if it's specific rooms, so I don't have to worry about this at all. Very nice. So let's see. Let's start with the floors. Hardwood or carpet? Um... It doesn't say type of carpet, so I like. Let's just go with hardwood, I guess. Uh, let's go with the dark. Yeah, there we go. Gray or green walls. Let's go with this light green. I don't want to mess around too much with like two tones yet until I know if that's good or not, because I don't know if that is gonna impact the review. And I need good reviews on Yelp, man. All right, uh, single bed. So let's go over here and find a bed. Uh, wait, right here. Okay, single bed. Single bed, single bed. We got like three grand to work with, so. Double bed and double bed. So second hand mattress. These are all kind of not great, huh? Okay, here's a futon. Futon should be okay. So put that right in the center there. Barbell bench. Okay, where's that? Oh, right here. Okay. Yeah, very nice. I like it. Uh, lamp, small plant, motivational poster. All right, let's find a motivational poster. Uh, inaccurate hit poster. A motivational poster, never give up. Work hard, play hard. Let's do the never give up uh, poster right there by the uh, by the bench. All right. Now a lamp and a small plant. Those are big plants. Small plants down here. Um, Chinese evergreens. Let's do that. Can we put like extra stuff? Okay, desk lamp and book books so maybe we can go with the desk we still have a thousand bucks how much does it cost for a lamp is that maybe this one well there's a desk lamp at least we still need one more lamp this lamp right here yeah there we go and books where can I find some books books and decoration uh, personal growth books yeah perfect Let's, you know what, let's get a desk to put that stuff on. So I got $900 to work with still. Uh, where are the desks? $249, that's not bad. That's not bad. Let's put the, uh, the desk right here with the desk lamp. Uh, the books. And that plant. Yeah, dude. That's what I'm talking about. Let's see. We should. We need to get... This This is going to be a good review. See what she thinks. Come on, let's see. Oh, she likes it a lot. Look at that. It's going to be a five-star review, dude. Hell yeah. She's digging it. Okay, so we did things right this time. Maybe, maybe doing the multiple tones on the tile last time and the walls is what messed us up. Maybe they, maybe that's a bad thing. All right, let's take a look. Let's take a look at what uh, what review she leaves. She's on the phone right now. All right, new items. Hell yeah. All right, let's go to the phone and look at the review. Hey, five stars, dude. Oh, she gave us a tip too, I think. Look at that. So that's possible. It's like Mello replaced the door with a portal to a different flat. Agent Mello is one you can safely trust. Hey, 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 all right, dude. That's awesome. Dude, I like this game a lot. Okay. Um, let's find another decent job. 2000. Uh, looking for a designer to build a new bathroom. Or kitchen dining room. Let's do bathroom. We haven't done a bathroom yet. Dude, I like this. This is chill. Chill and fun. I like it. Okay. New bathroom. That's all. Oh, that's quite a bit of space for a bathroom. I don't know if there's a way to like make the walls go go down or whatever. Is that a thing? Maybe not. All right. So let's uh, let's do the the floors. Stone or laminate? Stone. 
Uh, stone. Let's do stone. That's interesting. All right, walls. Green or brown? Let's go with a, a green. I like green. <laughs> okay. There we go. That's kind of cool. All right, now we could do a bathtub or shower. Boom. So a bathtub, freestanding bathtub, whirlpool bathtub for seven ninety nine. Oh, they'd be pumped about. I'd be pumped about that, honestly. Let's see. Let's do. Uh, let's do that giant beast right there. Bathroom sink, toilet, toilet brush, all that stuff. All right. We have twenty eight hundred still. We're doing good. We're doing good. A black modern toilet. That's that's a re that's really expensive. I'm not gonna go. I'm not gonna spring for that. That's too much. Let's do a toilet right there. Uh, bathroom sink. Uh, that's probably too big, so let's go with a small one right here. Just put it right there, okay? Toilet brush, toilet paper, with a wall clock and a wall plant preferred. All right, uh, toilet brush. Put that right there, and then some toilet paper. Okay, now a wall clock. Where... Okay, right here. Yeah, a wall clock and a wall plant. Oh, yeah. Oh, I like this one. This one's nice. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Look at that. Okay. Job done. Another five star. Let's go. You're going to see that whirlpool. You're going to freak out. Come on. Yeah, that's what I thought. I saved money by shopping at, uh, a, like, Ross. And then I could spring for that whirlpool. That was the big, the big purchase right there. Found the toilet in the alley. And the sink I just stole from somebody else's deserted apartment. Why are you in there? I didn't touch that place. I didn't touch that room. What are you doing? Just give me my review. All right. This shit, this has got to be a five star. It's not the uh, the heart face, the heart smiley, but that's all right. Just got the little smirk. Should be okay. Maybe we'll get a tip again. That'd be cool. Oh, we actually got the barbell. Look, we could have hooked that dude up with the bench. He had no weights. He's just going to lay there and look at his poster. All right, let's go look at the review. What do we get? Oh, four stars. You suck. No major. What is that word? Inconvenience. Is it supposed to say inconveniences? No major inconveniences. It might not show from the first looks, but Mello actually knows how to renovate. Okay, well, that's fine. No tip either, but whatever. So we're level four now. Let's look at this, actually. So time play, 22 minutes, tenants housed. Okay, so this... Just kind of gives us an overall score where we're at, I guess. I don't know what these are, I guess. Oh, these these are the things we've been unlocking. And we're on month one, day 22. Wow. Uh, what happens if we go to... Where's that little apartment we got? Oh, right here. Can we do anything yet? We can install heating. Let's do that. Slowly get this thing ready. So what else do we have to do after that? I guess we can renovate maybe once that's done. Yeah, okay. Oh, we can. Okay, here we go. Okay, we're ready to clean this place up. Send me in and let's get started right away. You know the drill. I've got a surprise for you. Uh, like, yeah, let's just go ahead and do that. I guess we got money for doing that too. So cool. Let's begin cleaning. So this is our actual property right here. I like the idea of expanding your portfolio. That's cool. All right. Yep, that's right. I managed to track down. I didn't see that. Damn it. Plus, some of the stuff you can find there is quite special. Be on the lookout for the uh, so-called unique items and make sure you don't waste them uh, on some fool's rundown studio apartment. Anyway, let's finish this up. Damn it. What did he say first? I missed it. I'm going to have to go back and pause it. Go back in the video, pause it, and see what he said. We're going to get him to clean up all this, and then I might actually have enough to turn it into an actual livable apartment. I guess we'll find out. But Uncle Steve needs to finish this up first. 
We got a crack in the wall over here. But we're going to make this place look nice. This little duplex here. I wonder if it's better. you're better off. I don't know if it costs money to actually restore these things. Let's see. We're at 69.70. Let's see if that costs anything. It didn't. So I guess... So that just... Uh, Oh, we can actually add... Okay. Maybe that's what he was saying is after we replace things or restore them, we can actually store them ourselves. We're going to leave that there, though, because why not? This is good stuff to start with for our first property. Less money we got to spend on furnishings. All right. Restore that. And restore this chair. Repair this chair. All right, there we go. All right, I think you're done. Wait, wait. Plaster that wall, sir. Oh, there's still a mess over on this side, too. Dude, who lived here? You said it was my aunt or your wife, so what the hell was she doing? Was she renting it out to some delinquents? All right, man. I think we're coming to an end for this video, but I like this game, so I might do more. Unless the demo goes away and I can no longer do anymore. Is that door broken? I guess not. Alright, I think he can leave now. I think everything looks okay. Alright, get the hell out of here. So I might actually have enough money to, to do some stuff to it. Begin renovation. Now we can finally finish up the old auntie's place. All right, ready to rock and roll. You can now access the remo uh, remodeling tools and build and demolish walls. Re use responsibly. Ooh, nice. Cool. Build, bulldoze, and put doors. Okay. Um, I think we'll leave it the way it is for now. Let's just start with uh, some renovations. So we're going to go with, uh, I know car, it's a horrible idea to have carpet in a rental because, you know, carpet just gets destroyed like right away. So tile would probably be better. Even, even laminate, but tile or even stone. Let's go stone. What's this one? Marble? 55. Let's just go with granite. And then maybe we'll do tile in the bathrooms. Or is this the bathroom? Yeah, let's let's make this the the bathroom, I guess. So maybe we should put a wall there. Let's put a wall. Oh wait, what do I got to bulldoze? Get rid of that wall, I guess. And put a wall right there. And then put a door right there. All right, that works. Seems that you know all the basics by now. And now we need to check all the requirements on the list. Okay. So we just need to put a bed, fridge, and toilet. That's really not much. Oh, no. Don't put a door there. Well, we got to do walls, too, still. So let's chill out, dude. Let's just do this dim blue. Just a basic little apartment, you know? Nothing too fancy. Do a different color in the bathroom, though. Let's go with this, like, light purple or whatever. Yeah, dude, I'm digging it. Very nice. Look at this. Totally different place now. All right, now furniture. Actually, I want to move this. Like, I don't know. Move that. Let's put the couch, like, over here. Maybe actually catty-cornered. Kind of nice. Move this over to that wall right there. Move the chair. Yeah. And, uh, let's see, we need a bed, a fridge. You know what? I don't know. I guess it's gonna be like a studio apartment, so we're just gonna have a bed in here as well. Let's do a futon. That'll be okay. Um, it's kind of weird, huh? Maybe I should move this over. Move this, oh, move this some more. Put the bed over here in this corner. And then the table over here. 
Yeah, that's that's better. Maybe we won't do the caddy corner thing. Because that's going to throw things off, actually. Yeah, that'll be okay. Um, let's see. A, a fridge and a toilet. So, a fridge right here. And simply a toilet. That's actually a big bathroom. We might not, we might not need that much space for a bathroom. I mean, there's nowhere to bathe. Yeah, we're gonna have to move. We're gonna have to put a shower, dude. We still got four grand. We're doing okay. We gotta at least put a, uh, like a simple tub in or something at least. A rustic shower cabin. Ah, oh, that's horrible looking, but that's fine. It's cheap. Let's move this down a little bit. Yeah, there we go. That's decent. Let's get a TV. Alright, I think that's good. So, uh... I guess we can leave it. All right, looks like you got our unit ready for renting. Let's go on to the open house panel and start it right now. During an open house, various customers will come by to check out the apartment. All right, let's start that. First advertisement is free. Okay. Looks like we got our first whatever. Okay. I guess it's the same process. We'll see a little emoji. See what they think. Oh, she likes the bathroom. That rustic shower. <laughs> oh, I forgot to put a bathroom door in. Looks like we got our first potential tenant. How exciting. Let's click on her and try to make a good deal. Oh. All right. She uh, th she thinks it's a good apartment. She's 26, makes 30000 a year as a fast food worker, and she's a gamer. A uh, background check. Okay, hold on. So we can... <laughs> that's cool. So, we can actually do a background check, a tenancy history check. Let's do that. And then I guess we could barter on what uh, a good rent is. Okay, Cindy Evans, tenant history. History... Oh, opinion unsatisfying. <laughs> what? Okay. Let's do the background check just out of curiosity. All right, here we go. Background check. Uh, no criminal record and no debt. That's that's a, that's all right. That's good. You know what? Let's um, let's barter. So how does this work? Negotiate the uh, best deal for your rent. So we're gonna keep it at three months, just in case she is a bad tenant. Rent price at twelve hundred. She wants like five. Oh wait, no, that's too that's too too low. Let's go with like. Like 800? Success. I don't know. That might be too low even, too. I don't know. Well, I guess we'll see. So, greetings, Mellow. What a lovely place. I'm still trying to recharge my aura after moving in. Oh, God. But I'm pretty sure that it'll become stronger than ever. Let's have a great connection. Namaste. Oh, no. Well, maybe she'll at least not break the TV. All right. Well, I think that's going to conclude this first look. This quick first look I wanted to do on the tenants. Uh, I, I like this game. I want to buy it obviously whenever it comes out whenever that is but i recommend definitely checking it out it's pretty cool so far let me know what you think of it let me know if you play it because it's pretty cool uh meanwhile appreciate it if you like that hit uh, <laughs> i'd appreciate it if you hit that like button to help the channel out subscribe and uh, i'll see you on the next video